Joyful Journeys presents the Energy Balance Checkup. And today we ask the question, are you balanced? Hi there, I'm Teresa Marone, and as a holistic practitioner, I'm very concerned about the effects of stress on our bodies and our lives. And I feel like I have a new approach that I'd like to share with you. I became interested in energy medicine long ago. Color and gemstone healing and healing through the Akashic Records are particular subjects that I'm interested in as well. But I felt it was very important to my quality of life to attend to my energy field and actually it's changed my life. It helped me immensely to understand where my stress was coming from and how it was affecting the different parts of my life and my body. So I became professionally certified and started a practice in Houston, Texas. As a result of that, I've noticed something through working with hundreds of people that we all have in common. You see, energy healing addresses all of the energy systems in the body, including the meridians, the subtle body, also called the auric field, as well as the chakra centers. Energy medicine combines many ancient techniques with the possibilities and the cutting edge of technology. I find this the most exciting health and wellness development of our time, as traditional medicine and these holistic techniques go hand in hand to create opportunities for each of us to take more control over how we feel. I'm so excited to share with you some techniques to get you started in this energy balance checkup. Of course, if you want to go deeper, the next step is my online class series where we take each of these subjects and spend two hours giving you more tools and the time to integrate this into your life. So if you're ready to feel vibrant, energetic health, you're in the right place. But today, we're going to ask the question, are you balanced? Let's take a read on where you are right now. This energy checkup is designed to teach you how stress affects your chakra energy on every level. Balance begins with truly listening to what your body is telling you because stress affects us first in our energy field. And the value of stress is that when you become more aware of the damage that stress causes and take steps to reverse that damage sooner, you stay in preventative care. Instead of allowing stress to get you into crisis management care. Oh, this is very self-empowering. Healing symptoms before they enter your physical body. Because actually, the cause of all disease is stress. Now let me give you a short explanation of energy medicine. It's really pretty simple. What you're thinking, feeling, and saying is affecting you and everyone around you. Our bodies regenerate new cells about every 21 days. As we become more positive... We move more stress from our lives and feel more joy. We create better cells. We can reverse the signs of aging and heal disease by creating better cells faster than we create substandard ones. And being aware of our chakra system and what part of the body each represents keeps you in conscious control of the process of creating better cells. Now, what could be a better way to live than that? Some of the techniques that we can use are color, gemstones, affirmations, visualization, and meditation. But I want you to keep this in mind. What you think is what you create, and how you feel is the barometer of how well you're doing it. So let's get started with your energy balance checkup and find out the answer to the question, are you balanced? First, I want you to look at this chakra chart. Focus on the colors and Ask yourself, are you drawn to or repelled by any of the colors? The colors you're drawn to will change from day to day, and this is a good way to tell which chakra center is very strong. Conversely, if you're really not liking a certain color right now, that could be the indication of a blockage. Look at what part of the body where the chakra is located. Do you feel uncomfortable with or have physical symptoms in any of the parts of your body? These centers are in charge of your organs all your body parts, and your endocrines. The meridian paths run right through them, and each one is also energetically tied to a layer of your subtle body, commonly called the auric field. 
If you're feeling symptoms of imbalance in a particular chakra, try using the color, like wearing it. Or put a gemstone of that color directly on the center. Or just visualize the color surrounding that part of your body. The power of your thoughts is very strong. And as you get used to problem solving this way, it becomes even stronger. Now let's take a couple of examples. If you have a headache, use a lapis lazuli or another indigo stone on your forehead. Visualize the rich color of indigo blue surrounding you and focus it on the source of the pain. This could help in as little as 15 minutes. Or, example number two, if you have a sore throat, that can be helped by putting a blue stone directly on it and to add power, we use the complementary color of red. To learn more about color and gemstone techniques, just sign up for the Joyful Journeys newsletter on the home page. I will personally send you a free e-booklet on this beautiful way to care for yourself and your loved ones. Now, chakras can be blocked or overstimulated. Feeling blocked is never a good feeling, but you usually know when you're stuck. Overstimulated can be just as bad. Losing your precious energy through out-of-control traumas caused by lack of personal and professional boundaries. Look at the symptoms and behaviors of balanced chakras. The feeling of being fully balanced is a feeling of synchronicity, optimism that things will work out, and just feeling good in your skin. We've all felt like this at one time or another, but stress, that's the enemy. When we're balanced, problem solving, gut instincts, and feeling good is easy. And so when we're balanced, that means we remain healthy on all levels, creating beautiful cells. Now, these are the symptoms of unbalanced chakras. If there is a relationship, situation, or event that's causing stress, and it's showing up in a particular chakra, then the stress will start in the spiritual. That level is kind of like the why me mindset, and why did this happen to me kind of a feeling. Then it gets into the mental level, and that's where the self-doubt and the self-criticism kicks in. Then it's getting closer into the emotional level. That's when you start to get frustrated and feel like, I just can't, or you get mad and you say, I won't. These kind of emotional responses are very detrimental and very telling. That's God's way of saying, you need to look at this. Because the next layer is the physical layer, and that's when the physical symptoms start to occur. Because this is your last line of defense. This illustrates how energy balance is the most self-empowering form of physical and preventative care because you heal the energy field before stress can enter the body as a physical symptom. Now, as I talk about each chakra, I want you to focus on the key words of the different areas of life, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Look at the organ and endocrines that they take care of and think to yourself, What is your body telling you now? Visualize the color. Are you blocked or overstimulated in any of these areas? Read the power statement with me out loud and the affirmation. And feel if it resonates with you. Do you believe yourself when you say it? And most importantly, look at the area of life that is affected most by the individual chakras. Balance is created when all chakras are working in harmony, like a beautiful dance. During the chakra discussion, I will be asking you some questions and giving you some key words. These questions will have yes or no answers. Listen to your body. Listen to your inner wisdom. And use your intuition to find your answers. If you answer no to a question, it is an indication of being blocked or overstimulated. Now remember, blocked is stuck. Unable to see a solution. Overstimulated is too many choices and feeling overwhelmed. After we discuss each chakra, we'll say the affirmation out loud. The power of the spoken word will help you feel more balanced right away. When we've finished all seven chakras, we will do a guided meditation using all of our tools, powerful thoughts, words, imagery, visualization, and beautiful soothing music. It's perfect. So, let's start with the first chakra, 
the base chakra. At the physical level, this is your strength, your vitality, your very life force. Emotionally, it's your willpower, your courage, your perseverance. Mentally, your ambition, your confidence, and creating opportunities. Spiritually, it's finding and feeling as if you are on your life's purpose. The organ is the bladder or the gallbladder, and this is where anxiety and bitterness could be stored. The testes and and the ovaries is the very source of your masculine and feminine energy. This is making you feel as good as you can possibly feel at the very basest and most primal level. The layer of the subtle body or your auric field, it's called the physical body, but it's an actual energetic, like a body glove, surrounding you in three, four, five, six inches around your body. And this is truly the last line of defense before stress enters your actual physical body. The key words start with grounding. Do you feel clear, able to make decisions easily? Stability. Do you feel that people can depend on you? Physical needs. Do you treat yourself well without self-criticism? Security and survival. Do you feel safe? I mean really safe to be exactly who you want to be. Manifestation in the material world. Do you have faith that the universe supports you? Our power statement and affirmation. I create. I take full and loving responsibility for all that I'm creating right now. Now the second chakra, the sacral chakra. Physically, this is your actual metabolism and how you process and absorb food and water. Emotionally, it's your loving relationships and setting healthy boundaries. Mentally, it's fear of success or failure. Spiritually, experiencing joy and feeling safe. The organ is the kidneys and the fight or flight reactions, feeling fear, just like the adrenals, same thing. And the subtle body, uh, it's the emotional level. This is where your emotions are creating your health in real time by feeling great, joy, beautiful, or conversely, emotions that do not serve you. Now the key words and the questions. First, emotions. Do your emotions add color to your life? Relationships. Are you supported and satisfied by the ones closest to you, your spouse and family members? Sexuality. Is this a joyous part of your life? Self-worth. Are you confident enough to feel empathy for those who are difficult to be with? And creativity. Do you express yourself easily through your work and personal environment? And now say it with me. I transform. My ideas become grounded in reality with mass, form, and function. Now the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra. At the physical level, it's your actual digestion, your skin tone, and your coordination. Emotionally, your warmth, your appreciation, your personal power. Mentally, Do you trust in your gut instincts and do you feel that you're good at decision making? Spiritually, responding, not reacting. The organs are the intestines. Pancreas is your endocrine and it's all about enjoying the sweetness of life. And the subtle body layer is your mental layer. And this is where all of your good decisions are processed or edited or just thought through one more time. The key words, personal power and will. Do you feel in control of your world? Energy and metabolism. If you lose steam before you've finished a project, can you easily let it go and just rest? Effectiveness. Do you feel organized, using your time wisely and efficiently? Self-esteem and social identity. Do you feel recognized for your achievements, respected, and proud of yourself? Happiness. How many times have you felt really, joyously happy in the last three months? 
And now our power statement and our affirmation. I process. I reflect on my creation and edit with gentleness and love. And now the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Physically, this is about your blood pressure and your stamina. Emotionally, your compassion, empathy, and unconditional love. Mentally, this is your capacity to feel intimacy. And spiritually, it's the balance and harmony and self-love. The organs, this is the heart, the lungs, and the spleen. And this is about security, approval, and obsessions. The thymus is the endocrine. And the subtle body is the causal body, the fourth layer of your auric field. And this layer can expand quite a bit. Um, You can send this out in advance of yourself into a room or even further to encompass healing all over the world. But the important thing to remember is that when your heart chakra is very strong and you're working with the causal layer of the subtle body, That's where you can manifest things for yourself, in other words, your heart's desires, very quickly with energetic health. Now, the key words are love and understanding. Do you feel deeply connected to others with love and understanding? And conversely, do you feel that others are connected to you unconditionally as well? Trust, hope, and openness. Are you filled with optimism and excitement for your future? Compassion balanced with forgiveness. Can you easily feel compassion for those who are in pain or emotionally or physically in distress? Conversely, do you feel that others have compassion for you? As you care for them, do they care for you? And our affirmation is, I feel. My desires are based in self-love and integrity and I respect that like attracts like. Now the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. Physically, this is your neck, your shoulders, and your arms, and also basic equilibrium. Emotionally, expressing yourself and communication. Mentally, it's speaking your mind without conflict. Spiritually, this is your sensitivity, your intuition, and your personal truth. The organ is the liver, and it can get in trouble when you're not speaking your truth. The thyroid has to do with body image, and if you feel that you're always overlooked. And the subtle body is the soul level, and that's where we're connected to every other being on the planet. Our key words are communication. Do you verbalize your thoughts easily and receive acknowledgement from your communications? Sound and vibration. Do you regularly enjoy the sound of complete silence? Self-expression. Do your hair, clothes, jewelry, and car express who you really are? Listening. When you hear someone express good news or an achievement, do you really deeply feel happy for them? And speaking and writing. Do you feel honored when asked to tell a group of people a little bit more about yourself? Or... Do you love writing your own bio? Our affirmation is, I connect. I teach and I allow others to teach me by being in conscious creation and joy. And now the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra. Physically, it's your senses, your eyes, nose, ears, mouth, and touch. Emotionally, it's trusting others because you know yourself Mentally, and this is important, it's hearing what's meant as well as what is said. Spiritually, it's discernment, setting boundaries personally and professionally. The organ is the high heart, and this is an energetic organ. This is what houses your heart's desires. And when it's healthy, it brings much joy. The pituitary is the master gland, and this is where you control, your self-control, and your control of how you treat others and allow them to treat you. The subtle body is the spiritual layer, and it's the layer that you can connect with angelic beings and spirit guides, and the 
the spirit world on every level. The things that we cannot see but we know exist at some level of our being. The key words, psychic ability. Do you know how intuitive you really are? Channeling. Do you believe you can receive messages from spiritual beings? Telepathy. Have you ever been so connected to someone that you feel that you can read their mind? Astral travel. Have you ever woken up from a dream and felt you had been somewhere or gotten a message from someone during the dream state? Visions. Do your daydreams or your night dreams ever come true? Connections to higher self. Do you feel the presence of a loving higher being? Our power statement and affirmation are, I sense. I am aware of a higher intelligence that guides me protects me and honors me. And now the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. Physically, this is your brain, your scalp, and your nervous system. And emotionally, it helps you feel connected and harmonious in life. Mentally, celebrating the process of aging and every stage of life. Spiritually, it's your desire to serve with gratitude and showing others grace. The organ is the brain, The pineal gland, the endocrine here, can give you access to your soul records. And the subtle body is the universal God force. It's your connection to the power of love that holds this universe together. The key words are universal consciousness. Do you have a curiosity about your life purpose? Cosmic connection. Have you had a relationship that you felt was karmic and destined? God source, are you certain that there is a purpose and higher meaning for your life? Enlightenment, do you seek to add richness and meaning to your relationships? Gateway to other sources, have you become interested in learning new and different ways to explore your life's meaning? And now our power statement, I fulfill I accomplish the steps of my life path by embracing growth, change, and transition. Very powerful. And by now, you are aware of where you need to start your inner work. Even the longest journey begins with a single step. So let's take that now. When you have gone to the well one too many times to pull off the I have to make this work syndrome, and you feel like you're running on fumes without proper rest, exercise, food, and you're unable to balance your life in the form of time, well, you're stressed. Being too accessible by cell phone, having no patience with yourself, and scheduling your days too tight can eventually wear down the natural chakra function of energetic balance. If you find yourself frequently saying, I'm too busy, as an excuse for not doing something that you would enjoy, well then maybe you are too busy. And what can you do about that? Well, slow down, of course, but be kind to yourself and start to set boundaries that first and foremost honor your health. Because when your chakras have been overworked to balance such ruinous activity to the point where they can no longer repair the damage, then this stress will enter the physical body and with increasing frequency and severity. The cure is simple. Every time you feel stress, make a conscious decision to explore that feeling purposely and find the true cause of the stress. Then, look at options to reduce or eliminate that set of circumstances from your life. I mean, first of all, what a shift in the way you handle it. You know, it's totally different. Instead of stress owning you, you're sitting there thinking, excellent, I feel stress. Perfect. Because now I get to eliminate another subconscious trigger. What is at the root of this stressful moment? Now let's get you completely relaxed with a guided meditation I did specifically for balanced energy chakra health. Chakra Balance Meditation Just breathe. 
choose to focus enjoyably inward. Quiet your mind. You are now in the silence. You are open to receive guidance from your source. You know what you want. You feel connected with the creative power of manifestation. Your vision is perfect and complete. And each new moment is manifesting your dreams. You are powerful, harmonious, and happy. You are totally relaxed. Your hands are resting on your thighs and your feet are connected to the floor. Breathe and send that energy through your feet straight down into the earth, 10 feet. Feel your connection with planet earth, 20 feet. Feel grounded, 50 feet. You are totally incarnated on this planet with a mighty mission of divine inspiration. Creation is your innate right. 100 feet and visualize the color red. Base chakra. I create. Red, the color of creation. What are you creating right now? This corresponds with the first layer of your subtle body, the physical body. You're creating as you are thinking. What are you thinking? Are they good thoughts? Are they positive? Are they uplifting? Your mighty mission on this planet to create includes taming the dragon of negativity, the dragon of self-sabotage, and putting in its place harmonious thoughts of self-love and self-worth, and sending that out for others to feel. Whatever you put in your mind's eye, you will surely have. So make it good things. Beautiful radiant red rich. Let it surround you and then turn that beautiful red into a vibrant, creative orange. As you see this orange glow coming from your second chakra, the sacral chakra, say to yourself, I transform. I transform my dreams into reality. If I can visualize it, I can create it, I can transform it into something I can see, feel, hear, taste, smell, and I know it's good. I transform. The second layer of the subtle body is called the emotional body. This is very important. Anything that you are emotional about, you are drawing to you. As surely as the sun is in the sky, as surely as you see the moon and the trees, your emotions draw to you exactly how you feel. So now's the time to release and renew. Release anything that you are emotional about that could be counted as frustration, anxiety, fear. Any doubts you have of your self-worth These are the emotions that sabotage your successful manifestations. 
Replace these emotional triggers by releasing them. An emotion that's not as good attached to a thought pattern that does not serve you is clearly not in your highest benefit or good. Release these things, that's what it's all about, and create room for you to draw things in that are uplifting, loving thoughts, joy, bliss. Become passionate in editing the thoughts you think and the words you say. Tame your dragon. This emotional body is very important. It gives you a key of how you're doing. If you're feeling great, you're creating great things. If you're feeling blue, maybe not as good. And when you start to see the results of your creation and transforming process, you enter the third chakra, the solar plexus, with its brilliant golden yellow This is where you take a step back. I process. What is going well? What do I still need to release? Do I still have a bit of an emotional trigger on this particular thing from my past? Because if you do, you'll still be drawing it. You must learn to release these things. It's a choice. What am I doing really well? Tweak on your plan. Visualize a little bit more detail. Make choices and changes. That's the process, I process. The process of creativity and creation. It is your divine right. It corresponds to the third layer of your subtle body, the mental body. The mental body is where you're supposed to look at everything without emotion and very clearly decide, do I need to release this? Is this no longer appropriate for me? Or can I shift my perception of it ever so slightly so that it's no longer a trigger, a stressful point, a negative emotion? What? do I love? What has surprised me lately? What has brought me unexpected joy? I want to do more of that. The mental layer of the subtle body. I process and enjoy the process. The process of learning. The process of changing. The process of aging. It's all good. And when your plan is tweaked and you're ready to start again, you'll have confidence. You'll be ready. And that's where we enter the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. And it's beautiful, emerald green. This is the chakra for I feel because now, after all the creation, the transformation, and the processing, you know. You've used your emotions. You've listened to your heart. You've released all inappropriate energy from your life. You've left your heart wide open and ready to receive. I feel because I know. I know when it feels right. And when it feels right and you know it, there's a calmness, a quiet, a focus. This is where we want to be.
This is what activates the fourth layer of the subtle body, the causal body. Because I cause, this is what causes things to be. In the fourth layer of your subtle body, this is where serendipity and coincidence and divine inspiration occur. This is where you can draw whatever you want. Open your heart to this. Live in the moment. Every minute of every day. Be aware of how you feel. Your heart chakra houses your intuition. It houses your guidance. It is where your emotions are processed. The heart chakra. Notice in your life the signs from your guides. Once you get into the zone of living in the moment, creating in real time, the signs are everywhere. It'll be right and you'll know it. What do you want? If you could have anything you wanted, what would you wish for? And then, and then it's time to connect. The fifth chakra, the throat chakra, brilliant blue, sky, lakes, rivers and streams, the ocean, blue, a healing color. I connect. I connect with everything on my planet. The people, the trees, the plants, the rocks, the water, the bugs, the birds. I'm part of it. I'm alive right now. This is my planet. The fifth layer of the subtle body is the soul layer. This is your soul connection to everyone on the earth at the same time as you. And before and after you. You have the right to be here. How can you give to this connection? What can you expect to receive from this connection? That should be your question every minute of every day. How can I give more? How can I receive what this person needs to give me? How can I be a part of this soul connection on this beautiful planet? I connect. I connect with love and harmony. And then entering the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra. This is the time to go back within. Create a beautiful indigo room for yourself. I sense. This is where your spiritual guides can reach you. Spend some time here every day with a quiet mind, a place you can always go just for you, a safe haven. In this third eye indigo room, the quiet mind will receive guidance. Take your confusion, take your questions, take your willing spirit into this quiet place created just for you you will surely get your answer today, tomorrow, in the appropriate time, with patience. And now, let's go to the crown chakra. Let's send energy out of our crown chakra straight up, straight up a hundred feet into the air, as high as the sky, in a beautiful violet color. Now we're connected with our crown chakra all the way to our base chakra, a hundred feet below and a hundred feet above with all the beautiful radiant rainbow colors between. Completely activated, completely at peace, 
completely balanced with gratitude, appreciation, and self-love. And with the universal love, I am fulfilled. Welcome back. When you start to prioritize differently and put anything that causes stress under the microscope, your life will start to change. And you will realize that anything you have to make work is no longer right for you. This is the true value of stress. I hope you've enjoyed this energy balance checkup. I can promise these methods will reduce or eliminate stress, but friends, it is not really about reducing or eliminating external stress. You have no control over that. It's about choosing another way to handle it. It's about problem solving, setting priorities and boundaries and self-maintenance. All of these things can be achieved on your own. Too many of us live our lives with mantras like little voices in our head saying things like, well, I have to. Well, what would they do if I said no? It's always been this way. I have tried and tried and nothing seems to work. These are the thoughts and words that create the habits, the patterns of despair, low self-esteem, feeling trapped and hopeless, but they are not the subconscious triggers. They are the results of subconscious triggers. Energy medicine will find those triggers and will remove them. Now, I offer these glasses as a very affordable way to start your journey to energetic health. I also have one-on-one programs that can be done by Skype or phone. Learning to live joyfully as we travel through life is the challenge of the journey. And I'm so glad our paths have crossed. And I wish to you, may all of your journeys be joyful. Mm-hmm.